Okay, I wanted to share with you an Alliance event that we have currently going on. As you'll notice here, we're doing the fortune teller stage. We're currently ranked third, uh, which is okay, um, but we should be ranked second. Um, only because, if you look, we're the second largest alliance. There's no reason why we shouldn't be getting second place. So, what you do is you go right here to the tavern, go to fortune teller, you hit the spin button, and you hit this until you have carpal tunnel for the most part. But I'm going to share with you a couple of things. If you're looking for points, um, you'll notice I keep getting knuckle bones, which is great because if I wanted to, I could make this twice as difficult, but I'm just going to save those up. As you can see in the top left corner, I have 2,952 of those. Um, no reason that you need to do every single one unless you absolutely feel obligated to. Um, it's best if the entire team partakes, but keep in mind there's future events coming up. So if you use whatever's in your current grouping of knuckle bones and then you just save up the ones that you receive from the spins you'll have those for the next event which is kind of my goal um, so as you can tell i'm just spinning and spinning i'm waiting for it to land on um, let's see if it lands this time nope land on one of the books which then takes you to um, a whole nother game and that's where you really get the points. So, let's see here. Here we go. All right, so the tarot reading. Now you'll hit the start button, click on one. Normally, you're going to come up with the times two, times five, times whatever, because they want you to use some of these. Ah, see, as I said, so let's see, what we, okay, I've got food. Now you'll notice that the fours are all in red because I've run out. But let's say I wanted to get more, I could come here and actually put more in. I don't want to use them right now, so I'm going to give up. Now, before I give up, had I gone to the ninth spot on this, I would have acquired more points because the further you go, the more points you get. So that's actually the ultimate goal. They want you to use all of that. So back to spinning I go. Let's see. I'm going to do a few more of these, and then I'll talk about... Um, oh, here we go. So let's we start. Times three. Food again. At this point, I'm just going to give up again because the reality is the gold that you're thinking you're going to get, like if you go to this... Um, that gold ribbon one that's talking about the um, gear uh, with the question mark, that one, you're not going to get that until very last. Um, that's just how it is. So unless you want to use uh, like 116 of those things to get that, I would just go ahead and pass. All right, so food. wood do a couple more and then I'll end this here we go again you're not going to get that so times three got wood end. and then I'll go out let's take a look again at the event center I'm certain that my few spins just now isn't going to bump, bump us up to third but you'll see that we have stage ranking of three. So let's take a look. Overall ranking of three. Let's view rewards. So now the overall ranking is really when you're talking about all of the different events. Um, they'll kind of see where you stand as an alliance in that, and then you'll receive your gift. Stage ranking is for the specific event. So 
that's pretty much how to play the the uh, alliance event when it's talking about the fortune teller. So, hope you enjoy that. It should be fun.